What if you had super speed? What if after some free chemical reaction in your laboratory, you had the power to run faster than a rocket? You'd obviously use this power, for good or for evil, wouldn't you? But even if you had the amazing costume, found a nefarious villain, had a girl to save, could you actually do it? Let's start with what's around us. Air. It's made of many things, such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, as well as itty bitty particles of dust, and minuscule fragments of dirt. When our hero runs against the air, he causes friction, and when friction is generated, there's heat. So our hero is running at thousands of miles per hour against the air. What's gonna happen? And the more friction there is, the more heat there will be. Well, our hero is gonna turn into a giant fireball running through the streets, and eventually he'll go kaboom. Our hero is now a pile of ashes. Well, you must have had your face burnt out from the previous instance. For the sake of the video's duration, let's say you didn't, and you're still running through the air like a massive fireball. First of all, you're awesome. And second of all, consider this. Elements and particles aren't just the only things around you. Tiny pieces of dirt and sand are in the air. And when we're running at 15,000 miles per hour, these sand and dirt particles would be hitting us all at the same time cutting your skin. That's like getting a thousand paper cuts at the same time. Golly. Now, another problem has arisen. Approximately, it takes a quarter of a second for humans to react to what they see in front of them. So after doing the math, we can see that by the time you would have seen the object, you'd have already gone past it by more than a mile, or you've gone through it like a missile. So either you smashed into the nearest wall at 20,000 miles per hour, or you smash through it, ruining the building and acting like a giant missile running through the streets past innocent bystanders. 